As a home seller, what do you have to pay your real estate agent for fees? Let's talk about it right after this. When you go to sell your home and you hire a real estate agent to facilitate that transaction, you will compensate them through the closing of your sale. So meaning the real estate agent doesn't get paid until closing. And in most cases, it's a percentage of the overall sale that you're paying your real estate agent for a fee. Now also as a seller, in most cases, in most states, you will also be paying a buyer's agent to bring their buyer and facilitate their buyer through to a successful closing. So the seller is paying both real estate agents involved in a transaction. Now, what is that percentage that you typically have to pay? The real estate police are going to come crashing down on me if I mention a specific price. In fact, there actually is a law that says we can't talk about what percentage a seller should be paying because that would be some form of collusion. So we're going to not talk about specific numbers and just talk about the general idea is that you're paying a small percentage of the home sale towards your real estate agent if the sale is successful. If you remember when you bought your home, you almost for certain did not pay your real estate agent for their services. The seller actually paid your real estate agent when you bought your home. And now as you're going to sell, it's your turn to pay the fees. And that's just how it's always worked. So sellers bear the burden of the real estate fees and it's usually a percentage of the overall transaction. I hope you found this helpful. For more questions or specifics, feel free to reach out. And if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, we would be so grateful if you would do so. Talk to you soon. We'll see you on the next video.